good looking. Hey, you love FLCL. I do. I love FLCL. I know. Why don't we ever do Pillow's bumper music at the end of the episode? Oh, I don't know. We could. I'm just... FLCL? No clue what you're fuck. talking Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> He's uncultured. <laughs> it's the greatest anime of all time. But we're going on a field trip. We're going on a field trip with... Not me. Yeah, you're not, not you. You're not going? No, oh, I gotta work for a living. Oh. I get to go because I don't have a skill set. <laughs> <laughs> when are we going? Now. Where are we going? Where are we going? We're going to Dixfield, Maine. Dixfield. Is that why there's so much wood there? <laughs> <laughs> Lumber comes from basically one mill. Well, yeah, we we get it from a dealer. And I know the mill, and I know the mill that sells it to. Is that Northwest Hardwood? <laughs> sells that to a sawmill who sells that to your dealer. All right, we're here. Four hours later. Yep. Dale drove, so. Dale drove. I, I fell asleep. So. Oh, I fell asleep. For I sure. we both no, fell asleep. asleep. Look at this giant crane. Home. See that giant crane that's moving? Is that thing moving logs? We're gonna see how lumber is made. Are you going to be able to shoot Thank with you. those? I'm a professional. This is no yeah. problem. <laughs> there you go. Well, I'm doing it like oh, that. Oh, it's calm. I'm putting it on backwards. No, that's not allowed. No, no, his is meant to be backwards. Oh, yeah. What? That's more That's more of like a management style. Huh? Uh, well, perfect. Yeah. This is a management style? Yeah, high this is more of a minion. Really? Yeah. So you can, you can tell the rank based on how they wear their, their hat. Right. Ooh. How do I look? Looking good. Really? You look so safe. Feel ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> We're purchasing a lot of the lumber for modular game tables from this company direct from the mill. Not from this specific mill, because this only does pine and we don't offer pine. Same sort of machine, same sort of deal. What are we doing first? The mill, the rough mill. Because it closes down, the shift's gonna end. These, these are, are big, actual big boy toys. tools. Yeah, these are big boy toys. Jesus. They're everywhere. It's, like every <laughs> it's just like everything is bigger here. Yeah. I feel insecure. We're in Texas. <laughs> yeah, we're in the Texas of New England. It's called Maine. <laughs> it's called Maine. <laughs> it's called Maine, bitch. So what positions have you worked at in this plant? 30 years ago, I started second shift in the old planer mill, stacking boards, and worked my way up through there, stacking boards, driving forklift, running uh, shift. Start up the value added. So you basically have worked in every one of these buildings, every position. The majority of them, not every one of them. This is a piece of pine. Yeah. That's how far we've gotten. <laughs> so what we do here in our second pass operations is we take natural six inch board. Yeah. Because of this defect. Ah, uh, yeah. And make it a low grade. That's no good. How do you identify these defects? So in our planer mill, when it runs through, we have a scanner over there. It scans oh. the board. The computer does it. And it will automatically just kick that one aside. Well, and then it will come here to get process. value add. Yeah. You're trying to get the most value out of the product because it yeah. costs you for the logs. Yeah. So you're trying to get as much value as you can out of all the products that come out. So, so all this ripping and chopping is really just getting rid of these defects. Right. All right. I mean, that makes sense. So that's what we're going to see in here. Slightly loud. A little bit. are sorting the rippings. So I bet these are all different widths, if I had to guess. So there's no computer helping this guy. He just by sight can figure out the length and the grading and the width and put it in the appropriate bin. Yeah. The scale is just unbelievable. <laughs> We're gonna go to the planer shop now, then we'll talk about the dust. This is the planer mill. So what is the goal of the planer mill? Basically, we take a rough lumber and we dress it down. Our planer here runs about 1,800 feet a minute, 18 to 2,000 feet a minute. That sounds like a lot. You'll Ten times it. faster than that other one? What? You're going to see it right now. <laughs> this is very loud. <laughs> Every single 
board at that speed, taking a picture. We had a bad one. Oh. Check it. Why are we up so high? So you just dump all the waste down. It just goes away. <laughs> it just goes away. <laughs> the finish yeah. is the rock. But what it does is it go through the planer and it dresses it down. Makes it nice and smooth. It's sorting out the different types of wood. It's yeah. like arranging them. See that like that row is like totally no knots, very few knots, and then if you look at this one, this one has like much Many more knots. Oh, right. Damn. Whoa, look at this. Whoa. New row. New row. <laughs> Absolute madness. All right, so now we're going to go into the sawmill. So this is where we're taking logs. Making boards. Making boards, which then will go to the kiln. Yep. After they get dried, they go to the planer. After they go to planer, they go to value add. So we're doing this in reverse. I don't know. We're doing this completely yeah, doing in logs. reverse. What's up? There's a bunch of logs up here. Oh. Watch out. Oh. Boom. Oh, yeah, thank you. Something broke. We got, we got to investigate what broke. Seeing those guys in there terrifies me. They're surrounded by deadly machines. What stops that machine from turning on? I'll lock out. Okay. So, this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. Holy what fuck. the fuck? That's a bandsaw blade. How is that legal to just have like... <laughs> so what's that? What's this machine doing? Oh. Talk to us about this machine. I'm, I'm interested in this. It's reading high spots. Okay. And then these, those cylinders are kind of hammering a little bit. Whoa. It takes out some of the manual labor, but we still go over them on the bench and check them for level and... So that's to make sure if these bands get like a little kink or something, is that what it's all about? So basically you'll keep running it until it stops popping. Yep. Right? Because every time it goes around, it, it's going to... Where are all these little like marks on near the teeth? See these? That's where the swedger we use to bring this up. Pop quiz, you know what a swagger is? Yeah, I know what a swedger is. You gotta make the tip of the tooth thicker than the rest of the blade so it doesn't Correct. bind up. Yeah. This one's air powered. When you squeeze one handle, this side will come up and lock and that's what makes that little circle on the saw. Uh, and then when okay. you squeeze the other trigger, this one goes ahead and it rolls this die and it brings the metal up. Looks like some Ghostbuster shit. Yeah, it looks... <laughs> no, it, it looks, does. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> oh, what is this thing? Look at this thing. Whoa. 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 So this one's locking, and then that one actually does what the... What the fuck? Where do you get this? From a saw company. You know, just a yeah. saw company. <laughs> What is this big crane doing? When they built the mill here, we had very small space to put the log storage. So they put this big crane on because you stack it taller than a normal log crane could. Uh, so if you had to... There's like a flywheel on the back. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, Matt. This thing runs on train tracks, and there's a... Whoa! Yeah. Look at the water park. water. Oh, look at that crane full of logs. That can haul a half a trailer truck load of logs. Okay. I didn't touch it. Shouldn't Matt, touch that. Don't touch that button. It's like don't. sensory overload in there. Oh my gosh. This feels so good to be outside. <laughs> <laughs> Last stop on the tour is a giant pile of sawdust. I have to inspect. I have a couple technical questions for you. Yep. What is the difference between sawdust and chips? Is this chips or sawdust? It's shavings. Oh, okay. <laughs> fuck me. Neither. Fuck me. So what do you do with the shavings? So a lot of this also is bedding, animal bedding. Ian. Yeah. Do you think this is scalable. Can you get to the top of this pile, or is it, no. or will you go in? You'll flounder. You, th you do not think this could support your weight. You would just flounder. Ah, no testing! Oh. Can I take two steps into this, sir? You want to take two steps? <laughs> what do you think, Matt? I don't think you're going to get very far. <laughs> it's 
not bad. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Okay. I feel like I went up a little. A little, but. Yeah. <laughs> this is scalable. Okay. That was you too. That was you. <laughs> Every day, he has his own bathroom. Okay, yeah, so yeah. He, has own, he has a porta potty. He doesn't there? have to come all the way there. Dude, he has a porta potty up there. There's a blue porta potty. Oh, yeah. He has a porta potty. <laughs> he used the crane to bring it up. Wait, that seems a bit excessive. Wait a How do they empty that porta potty? 